Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. In this video I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about strings in Python. I have lots of experience in Python and once you have followed along with this entire video, you will be a master at using strings. Okay, now you should have a basic understanding of strings from the earlier videos we have done. Now I'm going to be introducing a new concept to you today about strings. They are just arrays of characters. If you don't know what an array is, it is similar to a list or a tuple. So strings are basically just lists of characters. This means we can access items of a string just like how we can access items of a list or a tuple. I've just got a new file open in idle. So because strings are just lists of characters, we could access them in the exact same way we do with lists. So if, cr if we create a string called my string equals hello there. And we could just do print my string and then we could do my string two save it and then if we run it we get l that's like that's not a one it's an l how about we change it to one yeah we get e because this is the index zero of this list of characters index one index two index three index four index five and so on so in let's print the index one of the string which is e we can also do negative indexing so if we do minus one we'll get uh, actually let's just change it to minus two to get r yep there we go we get r we could do ranges although with strings it's not actually called ranges it's called slicing so three to six right so if we run it we get l o and we also get a space so what it's doing here, this is the third index, which includes fourth, fifth, and it gets to the sixth, but remember, um, ranges or slicing doesn't actually include the last index range, so it never goes on to t. If we change this to seven, we get lot with a space in the middle, which is this. We can also just use the length function of a string, so print when my string 11 because there's 11 characters in this string we can also use the um in operator so if e l l in my string print e e l l in my string then if we save it run it e l l in my string because it's found the part where it says ELL there, if we change this just to like R, R in my string, oh sorry hang on, change this to R as well, R in my string, there we go. So strings are literally really similar to lists, but they are just lists of single characters. Pretty much everything you can do with a list you can do with a string. Make sure to give this video a like if you are finding it helpful or interesting, it really does help me out. Also subscribe to my channel, I post Python tutorials almost every day and you really don't want to miss out on that. So now let's move on to concatenation. So as you know, we could do my string, print my string plus one, two, three. And that'll print hello there, one, two, three. We could also use commas to concatenate. We get the same result but sooner or later this could get messy and it's not that fast it's quite slow actually compared to like other methods so what we could do I don't know QWERTY and then uh, two curly braces dot format and then in here we could put my string and then QWERTY hello there, because what it's done is this here is a placeholder and then we're doing dot format and then we're inserting my string into that placeholder. We could have multiple placeholders. Format my string. Hi. QWERTY hello there and hi. We can use an infinite amount of placeholders. Now as you can see, if we're going to be using quite a lot of these, it will get messy, just as messy as before. 
The only advantage to this is it's faster, so I'm going to show you a different way that's even better. But if we do print f and then type in a string, as you can see the f has turned green, qwerty again, then space my string inside of that placeholder. We get qwerty hello there and we don't have to use any of that dot format stuff. This f is just a short quick way of doing it and you can insert it right there in that placeholder. It looks a lot cleaner and it's just as fast and it's easier to read. This is the best way to concatenate strings and format strings. As a little side note, make sure to comment down below how you usually formatted your strings before you learnt this method. I will read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. So now onto something called escape strings. They're used to insert illegal characters into a string. So what I mean by illegal characters is Python doesn't recognize them and it'll cause an error if you just type them in normally. So for example, print. If I wanted to uh, like have a quote in here, so we could do she said hello there. As you can see, it's gone a bit weird. It's not gone how we wanted it to, it's going to give an error. Yeah, invalid syntax. So what we can do is you can do she said backslash speech mark something backslash speech mark speech mark so what this backslash does is it's a way to insert an illegal character if we run it she said something as you can see we're allowed to put in these speech marks now even though we've got speech marks on the ends here we can also use these for new lines so backslash n backslash n she said something which is on a new line. If we just close up these gaps, she says something. There we go. We can also use tabs backslash t. Hello. Okay, so this backslash t will tab. She said tab something tab hello. So this is how you use illegal characters in strings. And now let's move on to string methods, and there are loads and loads and loads of string methods. I'm not going to cover them all today because it would turn into like an hour long video, but I'm going to cover the most important ones. Let's move on to the strip method, so let's just do my, uh, let's just call it my equals a asdf. And then we do x equals my dot strip f print x. And then as you can see it stripped off the f character. So now we only have a s and d. The lower method converts a string to complete lowercase. So if we went my equals hello there and then print print my dot lower as you can see it's been completely converted to lowercase and now this is really useful when you're getting user input and using if statements so i'll just do a quick demonstration so i equals input hello if i equals yes print yes obviously this is absolutely no meaning and it's so pointless but it's just a demonstration so if we run it hello type yes it'll give us yes but if we type hello yes we don't get anything so what we can do if i dot lower equals yes print yes so we get yes because what it's doing is it's getting i and then saying if lowercase version of i equals yes, print yes. The uppercase method, so my, my equals yes, print my dot upper. It just converts it to a capital letter. Uh, now the replace method, so my equals yes, print my dot replace y 
J. So now we get Jess instead of yes, because it's found Y with this first argument here. And then it's saying replace Y with J and print it out. So we get Jess. Finally, the split method. So X equals hello there. Make sure you've got that comma. Print x dot split. And what this does is it returns a list of the split up items. First, let's look for all the commas in this. Okay, we found a comma. Let's split it up and then put those two different uh, strings that have just been split up into a list. So if we had multiple commas, hello there, yes, we'd get a list, hello there, yes. This is useful when reading from a file and you want to do comma separated values. Um, we'll get onto that later, the split method is one to remember, because it'll come in handy later. Okay, there we go. What I think you should do now is look up some more string methods online and have a practice with those. This was just an overview of what strings actually are and some important methods. Next video, we will be talking about sets, which is another collection type. If you have any questions, errors or comments, be sure to leave them down below. I'll be sure to reply. Also, give this video a big fat thumbs up if it was useful or if you enjoyed it. Doing that really does help me a lot. Make sure you subscribe for more Python tutorials. That's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.